On this episode of Grace Talk, Pastor Todd and Pastor Michael talk about the sermon from December 6th. Good afternoon, Grace Baptist. It's good to see you again this week for our sermon follow-up. I'm here with Pastor Mike and just wanted to follow up on the sermon this past week. We looked at God's faithfulness and, you know, something we, in, in the sermon, referred to as street-level theology mm-hmm. is important. We, we think about that really any area of theology mm. is. Um, that, that it needs to be lived out and, and worked out in our mm-hmm. daily lives. But faithfulness to me is something that, that God just reminds me of over and over and over again, mm-hmm. how important it is in my daily life. And, and I guess the first question, Mike, that you and I have talked about that we want to kind of throw out there is, what gives us confidence to trust that God is indeed faithful? Mm-hmm. Like why, why can we trust Him to be faithful? Yeah, I, I think it's rooted in His other attributes. I mean, you think about who God is. He, mm-hmm. God is holy. Is one of the things the Bible tells us about mm-hmm. Him. Leviticus eleven forty four: For I am the Lord your God. Consecrate yourselves therefore and be holy, for I am holy. Isaiah six. We many probably know this passage by heart. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of His glory. I mean, when you think about God's faithfulness, it's rooted in His holiness yeah. because in His holiness. Uh, there's, there's, he's not tempted away. Right. Uh, no other agenda, no other yeah. desire, and so we can trust him mm-hmm. uh, in that, in him being holy. And another one you think about is, is him being almighty. Yeah. That that nothing can thwart uh, his will or his purposes. Yeah. Uh, you think about Job forty two two. I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite passages, Isaiah forty six eight through ten where Isaiah writes, Remember this and stand firm. Recall it to mind, you transgressors. Remember the former things of old. For I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. Mm. Declaring the end from the beginning and ancient times, things not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will accomplish all my purpose. And so when we think about the faithfulness of God, we also think about Him being almighty. That nothing can stop Him uh, from accomplishing right. His will, His desires uh, here on earth. That, that's significant too because yeah. I was sitting here, you're talking, I was just thinking, you know, honestly, I'm not even faithful to get home yeah. when I tell Steph I'm going to be home. Time. Yeah. You know, I'll be home by 5.30 and it's yeah. 5.40 yeah. and I'm not home. Mm-hmm. And it, it all comes back to the fact that I'm not almighty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something has happened yeah. that yeah. I'm out of, I, I have no control over, yeah. you know, yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. I'm late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't even do that. <laughs> yeah. So to know yeah. that God is right. indeed yeah. almighty, he mm-hmm. is sovereign. He's going to be yes. on time with what he says yeah. he's going to do. Mm-hmm. He's going to do it. it. Nothing's going to prevent mm-hmm. him. So, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, one last thing I would just say with the faithfulness of God is his immutability, mm. uh, that he never changes. Yeah. Uh, if he were to change, then we can't talk about his faithfulness. Mm-hmm. And uh, But he never changes. He's always faithful uh, to himself yeah. and to his people. Yeah. Uh, you think about uh, Malachi 3.6, For I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. Hebrews 13.8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. James 1, 17, every good gift and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there mm-hmm. is not variation or shadow due to change. Mm-hmm. Uh, scripture is very clear that God yeah. does not change. We change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we experience unfaithfulness, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. Uh, but He does not change and He remains faithful. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just a beautiful thing, you know, what you cited Sunday too, and we sang, uh, is great as your faithfulness. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of my favorite songs. In fact, yeah. I listened to it on the way to the church this morning. Just, I can't listen to that song enough yeah. uh, to be reminded of yeah. who God is yeah. in my life. Because uh, things change. Uh, times, things get crazy, mm-hmm. right? And our culture is insane at this point. Right. Uh, so yeah. much things going on. And, and what, where do we look? Where do we turn? Yeah. Uh, we, we turn to Him, our faithful God, who, who is always faithful to us. Yeah, and I, I shared with the um, I shared with the eight thirty mm. service. I, I didn't share this in the ten thirty service, but in the eight thirty service, I I shared after we sang that "Great yeah. Is Thy Faithfulness" from uh, Genesis eight verse twenty two, 
does it, why can we sing that? You know, we sing mm-hmm. morning by morning, yeah. you know, that his great faithfulness yeah. and, and all the seasons, mm-hmm. well, we sing of his faithfulness because in Genesis eight twenty two, uh, God says after the flood said, while the earth remains seed time and harvest, cold and heat summer and winter day and night shall not cease Mm -hmm. and you know great is thy faithfulness we sing that and say you know creation um was it uh declares his man is a manifold Mm -hmm. witness to his great faithfulness yeah you know Mm -hmm. and uh, i've just been studying in genesis and uh recently in in the mornings and he talks about coming out of that when he makes his covenant with with um noah he says, I will remember the mm-hmm. covenant that I established. I will mm-hmm. remember. We have confidence he's going to yeah. remember his covenant again yeah. because he's faithful. Mm-hmm. And what he says he's going to do, he does. He's, yeah. he's true. You know, and R.C. Sproul in, the, in, in his book, um, The Holiness of God, talks about his holiness being an umbrella characteristic mm-hmm. and how um, everything that he is is holy and perfect yeah. so his love is perfect mm-hmm. his goodness his kindness his mercy all that is perfect yeah. i mean even even in those things that you know we can demonstrate love my love's not perfect unfortunately mm-hmm. but his is yeah his faithfulness is rooted in that mm-hmm. that perfect holy love yeah uh, so it's a neat thing and it, it gives us confidence to you know we think about all the promises of scripture mm-hmm. right yeah. uh, that we hear um, mm-hmm. You know, you and I were talking about that one. Yeah. One, I think you had mentioned a couple uh, promises. One that comes to mind for me is Philippians one six. Yeah. That you know, He who began a good work in you will complete mm-hmm. it. Right. He yeah. will complete it yeah. as a promise. Mm-hmm. You know, what are what are some of the promises that that we think on in Scripture and, and hear and and just you know, wow, I'm glad mm-hmm. that God is faithful to carry out that promise do you yeah think? yeah i think you know the one that you said comes to mind as well mm-hmm. um you know as we were talking before we started the camera you know we we are notorious for not finishing things out yeah. right and god finishes out mm-hmm. what he starts he, he doesn't leave it undone and man that is a great great promise for yeah. us as believers that because there's days man it just doesn't I don't feel like that's really going on. Mm. You ever have days yeah. like that? I mean, yeah. I just don't feel like yeah. that work's being finished in my life. Right, right. <laughs> it is because Philippians yeah. also tells us God is at work in you. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are days where it just doesn't seem like that's really going on. Yeah. You know, and so you cling to a promise like what you just quoted mm-hmm. is that he who began a good work in you, he will finish it. Yeah. He's not going to leave that yeah. undone. And, you know, you think about also temptations. Mm. You know, he's, he's faithful to empower us yeah. uh, to resist temptation. You think about 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Uh, no temptation has overtaken you that, you that is not common to man. God is faithful, mm. and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Yeah. I mean, even in our temptations, our struggles, our mm. wrestling, mm. God is faithful. And, and I wanted to say, you know, one scholar has pointed out, is that the promises of God are rooted in the faithfulness of God. And you, mm-hmm. and you see that all throughout Scripture. You can trace it all over the Scripture. You think about that. And here, here's one we were talking about also, is He's faithful to fulfill all His promises. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything He has said, mm-hmm. He will bring right. uh, to fruition. Hebrews 10, 23, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for He who promised is faithful. Mm-hmm. He who promised is faithful. You think about those who are suffering for Christ. Uh, we're, we we're told in Second Thessalonians and First Peter that that God will uh, bring vengeance upon those who mm-hmm. have been persecuting His people. Yeah. Um, you think about this one. He is faithful to cleanse and forgive all who confess their sins mm-hmm. and believe. First John one nine. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Mm-hmm. I mean, the promises are everywhere yeah. and they're connected to. God's faithfulness. Mm-hmm. Because if there's promises, but yet He's not faithful, what good are the promises? Yeah, they, yeah. they make no sense to us. Right. And um, so, you know, we, I just want to encourage our people, man, mm-hmm. you know, because you know, I think so often, you know, people think, well, these guys are pastors, so they don't struggle, they don't wrestle with it, they don't deal with dark days or dark providential... Mm-hmm. We do. Yeah, yeah, right. And for me, more often yeah. than not, I yeah. feel like I'm battling those yeah. kind of things. And the thing I go back to is this, mm-hmm. you know, and, and this morning I was, I was talking to a dear friend about some situations in life and 
and I, I, Psalm 73 came to my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, whom do I have in heaven but you? You know, the, the thing I've noticed in my life is that God brings me to a place where there's nowhere else to cling. Yeah. There's nowhere else to look. There, there's, there's no hope anywhere else but looking to Him. And uh, I've, I've learned that over a long journey of battling Crohn's disease, yeah. uh, of just, just being bitter and angry at first, you know, and, and wanting to cling to doctors and medicine and everything else that maybe this is the answer. And God had just stripped me mm. uh, to bring me to a place where, no, all I have is you. Yeah. yeah. And He's faithful. Right. And I can trust Him. And what He has said is true. He mm -hmm. won't leave me. He won't forsake me. He's not going to abandon me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I just want to encourage our people in that. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Because we're facing dark days and maybe darker days to come. Sure. We don't know. And uh, so what do we, what do we look mm -hmm. to? God's faithful. Yeah, and that's yeah that that word. Um, and I, I'm missing the reference right now, but we talked about it Sunday that every word of the Lord proves true. Yeah, it, it proves it's true. Yes, and amen. And you know, and, and it's to be able to know that I, I may not know yet, mm -hmm. but I can count on it to be true. Yeah, I can count on it to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and and that goes that, that goes in a lot of areas too. You know, you talked about. Uh, just battling chronic illness, mm -hmm. you know, um, and the the battles of sin and temptation can get so discouraging. Yes, but knowing that God is faithful to sanctify mm -hmm. us, right, to to grow us in in righteousness yeah. and holiness, um, and and even in relationships, you mm -hmm. know, thinking, I mean, I, I'm going, I, I mean, even in our relationship, mm -hmm. we disappoint each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not yeah. perfectly faithful. Um, but in other relationships where there's a lot of hurt, mm -hmm. you know, we can we can just really dwell on that and become bitter. Yeah, you know, with people who have hurt us or in in the past. I think that's one of the things going on in our nation, mm -hmm. right? Is that that people there's hurt that's happened in the past or hurt that's going on, yeah. and they're demanding this justice right mm -hmm. now. And in some of those situations, we have to trust that God is going to bring ultimate justice. Yeah, and He said He will. Mm -hmm. And so again. Our trust in God's faithfulness yeah. strengthens our faith to go, you know what? I, vengeance is the Lord's, mm -hmm. he's declared. Yeah. And so my job is to forgive and to love mm. and to walk with him and trust him to carry out yes. ultimate justice. Again, it, it, all that is rooted in his faithfulness. Mm -hmm. you know? um, that, that passage in Thessalonians we had talked about too. Um, you, know, you, you read Hebrews 10.23 mm -hmm. a second ago. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Mm -hmm. That his promises, his, his promise to save us, he's faithful to fulfill that. Yeah. So let's hold fast to, to our confession. I, I was thinking when you read that, I was thinking, man, if, if it does not say he who promised is faithful, if it mm -hmm. just said you hold fast to your confession, yeah. that would be heavy, yeah. weighty, and, and mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. oppressive. <laughs> I mean, it would just be weighty, yeah. you know, weigh me down. Yeah. But then he says, he who promises is faithful. Mm -hmm. And you rest in that. Um, the same thing, you know, we read this passage again. I think this is encouraging. Uh, this is First Thessalonians uh, five twenty three. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole, your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And again, that's, that's a good admonition. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't leave it there. He, yeah. he says... He who calls you is faithful. He will surely do it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and and man, I, I I'm like you. I I struggle. You know, we have up, ups and downs and failures. And, and I know a lot of our people talking to our people. It's mm -hmm. so easy to get discouraged with sin mm -hmm. and, and to I think sometimes just wonder. And that's that's I think that's why I wanted to pull that in the ser pull that out in the yeah. sermon is. Yeah. Is that I, I just sense that there's there's people that are just struggling with sin, mm -hmm. and that question of have I failed so much? Mm -hmm. Have I not done enough? Can I show my face? Yeah. You know, yeah. the, all these questions, and it's never too late. I, this morning I've seen this is, is never too late to repent. Mm -hmm. It's never too late to pursue the Lord, mm -hmm. um, and so so do it. Yeah, you know he yeah. he is faithful. Yeah, <laughs> he will surely yeah. do it. He will yeah. sanctify us even when we go through the ups and downs of mm -hmm. life. So uh, just street-level theology, I think, that, that helps us yeah. uh, just in, in, in everyday life. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you'd want to add before we 
wrap it up? No, I, I think just what you said, you know, on, on our wrestling with discouragement, depression, mm -hmm. pain, whatever it is, you fill in the blank. I mean, we just draw it a blank. Mm -hmm. We we go back to the faithfulness of God. Yeah. He either is or he isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we can either cling to him or, or we can't. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it... And, and so, you know, I, one thing I can say, and I know you can say the same thing, he has been that in my life. Absolutely. He has yeah. been that time and time again in areas where I wasn't even seeking him and he took care of things. You know, I just like, and, and afterwards looking at it and going, Lord, you're so faithful. Because mm -hmm. I, I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and he cared in a way that protected me mm -hmm. and my family. You know, I mean, there's just so many things and we've talked about it yeah. even here at the church you know yeah. how god is always just working and doing mm -hmm. marvelous things yeah. and and yeah. we stand back and we go whoa right you know we yeah. weren't even thinking about yeah. that and, yeah. and he's caring and, right. and providing and so i was you know it, there's several even of our members that are not able to come right now mm -hmm. they're at home and you know i just want to encourage you know because it's easy to to yeah. be discouraged mm -hmm. uh to even turn inward and become depressed yeah. And, and we want to just encourage you, look to the faithfulness of God. Look yeah. to Him. Uh, and, and man, it, it, like you said, even in our sin, don't, don't let that drive you away. Mm -hmm. uh, look to Christ. He is faithful. Confess your sins. Yeah. He is faithful. Yeah. And uh, I just want to encourage people in that. And it's, a, it's really a, an exhortation to, to faith, yes. to, to trust the Lord. It's, mm -hmm. it's not just a matter of knowing that God is faithful. Yeah, it's easy to know it, mm. and that, but not to truly trust mm -hmm. Him to be faithful. Yeah, and there, there's that that step of just everyday life in Christ, exercising faith mm -hmm. that that I'm struggling, I'm I'm depressed, I, I'm just discouraged with with the the pain that I keep experiencing, mm -hmm. all those things that that weigh us down. There, there's that step of faith of saying, yeah. you know what, God's declared He's faithful. I'm going to trust He is, mm -hmm. and I'm going to give it all to Him. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, so we would definitely encourage you this mm -hmm. week. Uh, look to the Lord; yeah. He is faithful, uh, and He will surely do it. He will fulfill His promises. Mm -hmm. Every word of the Lord proves true. Uh, he is a great and a mighty, holy God, a loving God, merciful God, uh, whose mercies are ever new. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that that He is faithful to provide new mercy every morning. And so rest in that this week. Trust the Lord to be faithful in your life. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your great faithfulness. Yes. Thank you for your care for us. And uh, God, the, the promises of your word that we know prove true. We've seen it and we continue to see it and we will see it mm -hmm. be. And uh, God, we know that because of who you are. God, you are holy and true uh, God, you are righteous and you are good and kind. And uh, so, God, we rest in you. We rest in the fact that you never change. God, you are always the same. Yes. And so we praise you mm -hmm. for that. God, we lift high your name, our Savior, our Lord, the mighty God, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray this week. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. Uh, we're continuing to pray for you uh, as you navigate all the challenges of this day. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you this Sunday in worship. Have a great week.